Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? Okay, so Derek Chisura picks up a fifth round TKO. As the ref was stopping the fight, Filipovich's corner was thrown in the towel at the same time. So it was a scheduled six rounder. Uh, the referee took two points away from Filipovich uh, for holding. And it looked more of just Filipovich was tired than anything. It wasn't like he was scared trying to hold on to Chisura. It looked like he was just dead tired. Filipovich is a guy... Believe it or not, I've done I've done two post fight videos of his fights, the both of the fights with uh Constantine Ayers. I thought they were pretty entertaining fights myself. But this fight, you know, Tresura would have been the favorite and he would have probably won the fights anyways, but Filipovich didn't seem to be in as good a shape as he was for the Arich fights, at least in my opinion. Okay. But Tresura picks up the the victory, just getting some rounds in. He hasn't been in the ring since the war he had with Dillian White. He came into this fight at 261 pounds. So a little on the heavy side, you know, compared for the Dillian White fight, he came in at 250. And I see Chisura is always in the gym training. At least that's what he posts on Instagram. So I was kind of surprised by the 261. I thought he'll maybe be around 250, being that he trains a lot. Um, but he does have a fight coming up in November. So he was just shaking some rust off and... Um, getting himself ready for that uh, EBU title shot against the uh, young up-and-coming prospect, uh, Ajay Kabaya. It's going to be an entertaining fight, man. Um, I actually did a video about that yesterday or the day before yesterday, the style breakdown of that fight. Interesting in my opinion. A lot of people think that Chisura should steamroll him. I think it's interesting, but we're going to see what happens in November. But this fight right here, it, it's funny, man, because I was, I was uh, listening to the corner and I don't know, man. I, I don't know the full history between Chisura and Don Charles, but it just seems like Chisura wasn't really trying to listen to him. You know, Charles was giving him good advice. He wanted him to double jab, not just look for the big shot, stay professional, uh, you know, use your jab, be the higher class fighter in there. And he was kind of being wild at times. Um, sometimes he would use his heel. He would double up on the jab. Sometimes he was doubling up on left hooks. Uh, the big overhand rights and overhand lefts, he were landing on Filipovich. Filipovich seemed to take him well. Um, his head did snap back, but he didn't seem remotely close to going down. Filipovich is a tough dude, man. I know he's kind of unheard of to a lot of you guys, but he's a tough dude. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, uh, Chisura did what he had to do, picked up the victory. Yeah, him and Don Charles, man, that was the most interesting thing about the whole fight to me you know uh charles trying to give him instructions in the corner and just is kind of looking around not looking at him charles even asked him like hey are you listening he's like deal deal are you listening to me and he's like yeah not even looking at him so i, I don't know man maybe just was just having a bad day before the fight or something i have no idea but um can't wait till november Chisura versus ajay kabaya man you guys go look up that video i did a style breakdown on that fight I'm going to do more. I can't wait for that fight, man, in November. But you guys, let me just think in the comment section. I'm out.